welcome to this video uh, this video is about stock price prediction using uh, machine learning especially graph neural network okay so this is Said Ahmed from Toronto Canada let's see so I believe you can see it this will be step 16 I think there are 15 other videos on YouTube. So this is the paper that we are trying to implement, right? So, okay. No. Okay, so where are we? Actually, financial news-based stock price prediction using graph neural network, we are having some issues, right? NumPy cannot be converted to tensors, those kind of errors, right? So that got fixed. And then I could uh, get the output for financial news based prediction. It seems okay, the prediction is okay. Uh, not perfect for sure. And I could plot the performance and also I could uh, mm, compare the performance with the other approaches, right? Pearson correlation. Pearson correlation among the stocks, the graph created from them and using that graph for prediction. I think Pearson correlation based graph based prediction and then Spearman correlation and then candle tau, right? So we'll be uh, comparing with those the financial. In the meantime, I also created this uh, Plot for the graph or the financial is based graph. I think there are some 11 stocks. In this case, there are probably 28 or 29, but this one also has uh, 11. I think it is the same stocks, but the only thing is depending on the financial news, if they are mentioned in the financial news, together we create edge and put on the graph. So the graph size is smaller, and I actually consider only 15,000 news articles. The authors actually considered almost a million. Anyway, I wish I could find a bigger data set. I could do it, but I think uh, I need to rush. I probably can come back. So this is the one, and what is the performance that I got, right? So this is the latest performance that, we, that, that I received. So this is the price prediction for Pearson, Experiment, Candle, and News. But you can see the news best uh, performed the most, right? news press prediction was more accurate than the others. And if you can see the research paper, yes, they also found the same. Financial news based prediction are from the best, right? Now there, my numbers might be a little bit more than theirs, let's see. Uh, their RMAC is close to 10 or something. I think those numbers will vary for me. But other than that, on, on a high level, it seemed okay. Let's see, for me, probably around 18. There was around 10, right? So yeah, this RMC. Oh, sorry, this is the loss, right? This is the loss. In my case, it's the loss and the RMC. RMC is around 40, mean absolute error. And then mean absolute percentage error. In here, my thing is a little bit high. Probably it is about uh, those configurations and how many iterations I used or not. So there would be other things, right? And then the second best, Candle Tau, and the third best, I think in my case, Pearson experiment, they perform almost the same. But as per the paper, they, uh, I think experiment was third and the Pearson was fourth. Anyway, so this is when I used 1000 iteration epoch, right? The epoch. 1000 epochs and this one actually 10,000 epochs. So usually many times it may seem that okay more epoch may be better as well but that's not what I found. Actually I think if, if I see the figure, I see the figure it looks like around 3000 or 1,000 iterations after that, I think performance starts to 
degrade based on the parameters that I used. Oh, let's see the code. I think this number is based on 1000, based on 1000, but that was a, a different iteration. It is not, I think the output from this and the, this output, those are for different executions, right? The numbers can a uh, little bit vary. And this is mean squared error. I can't converted those to the root mean squared error. That's what the paper is using. Okay, I'm just trying to find out the Okay, I did not expect that this video will open. I thought that it will be just, uh, let's see. Okay, step 15. That's where we are. Okay, this is the error that I was getting on step 15. For the financial, you can see why finance find stock prices, right? So that's what I fixed. So I finance. Okay, let's see how I get the graph in the code. Source and target. Okay, tuple width count. What is the tuple width count? Tuple width count, the edge and the corresponding weight, right? Edge between two vertices and the corresponding weight. How many? Uh, how many news articles they got mentioned together. That's what the weight mean. So I just took them, the keys, not the weight, just the connection. And I created the graph. Uh, I believe I could, uh, I could also show the weight on the graph, but I didn't go that far. Okay, that is one thing that, uh, that got. And I think in step 15 or some other steps, you also, created this plot, right? For those metrics, for those metrics, this is the matrix that we are measuring and then we're collecting the data and then we are plotting it like this. Okay, what was the issue? Actually, mm, the data structure was the issue, I think. When we are passing to create the graph, we're actually passing something like this thing date and all the stickers all the tickers okay so we needed the data in this format okay just tickers and the price and there was one more issue indexing thing right here there is some separate indexing now i make that date to be index date index okay i actually could at this point i could also Remove the diabetes step that would work, but anyway, I made the index to be the sorry, date to be the index. Okay, how could I find out the error on this? I actually compared with the other approaches, the Pearson. I think there are some similarities. I tried to see what exactly what data structure the uh, GCN expects and what is the format I sent before and what got successful, right? Depending on this, I just uh, figured it out. Okay, it seemed little one extra thing, this zero, one, two, three. In the other data, it was not there. And also, on the other data, it was the by default uh, by default index. I needed to re-index or reset index, or I needed to manipulate something there. But still, uh, date was removed from index, but the format was uh, format was like this. But when I saw the error, I was passing data like this. I, I need to take a uh, close look and see what is the 
issue. Then after I did it and then creating the graph and this all the other thing, it's really same for uh, financial news based or Pearson, everything is the all the other things are same because I'm comparing them. So I need to make things consistent, right? So the epochs. Okay, I'm not really sure if, if both of them are being shown. So let's bring it here. Okay. So this is the financial news best and this is the, uh, okay, no, not really. Okay. Let me see if I can find it out. Okay, no, it is here, right? I thought I brought it, but why don't I see it? <clears throat> okay, this is the final plot for 1000. What I did actually, I brought this data manually. I thought that I will put this financial news code into the other, other thing. I could do that, but I think in that case, uh, one block, I need to put lots of code. And another thing is, one file with too much code is sometimes difficult to handle. So I took this data and inserted it, right? This one, and then I inserted it, and then, okay, this is the one. I did the square root of the uh, mean square root. I, I make it root mean square root, right? I made it, and then the plot. Okay, these are the corresponding plots. Okay, it looks 4,000. Probably at one point they stabilize and then probably just variation happens. It might be more prominent in, in, in other cases, probably around 1,000, 4,000. Okay, sorry, this is the, 1001, right? So I cannot see what happens after 1000. I thought I opened the case where I used 10,000. Uh, okay, I believe I have images saved somewhere. So yeah, I saw around 3000, 4000 things, things, uh, the performance becomes worse. Okay, now for this project, we could use some model and could some level of correct prediction, not the not the best prediction. And we could find out some performance visa, but we could plot it. Now I need to think about the next step. Okay, bye for now. Yeah, I think I, I wanted to use a different variations of the model and try to make things more perfect in terms of result, that's the idea, right? Anyway.